Good evening, everyone. Good night, teacher. Hello there. Good night, teacher. Let's see. Just give me one second, everyone. I'm writing something. All right. Now let's see how are you today. I'm going. I'm going to ask one by one. How are you? All right. So let's see, Mary. How are you? Mary? I am tired. Really? I am sorry for you, Mary. <laughs> but it's good to see you in class. It's great. Welcome. Let's see. William, how are you, William? Hello. Good night, Miss. Oh, good evening. Um, I am happy, happy. very right. happy. Excellent, pretty good. It's good to see you, William, in class. Let's see. Thank Somebody you. Somebody else, Monica. Uh -huh, Monica, how are you? Fine, thank you. But it's sleeping now. <laughs> ah, I know, Monica, wake up. <laughs> Imagine, um, I know that you are tired from work and all those things for your job, but let's make, let's make up our mind that we need to learn English. <laughs> Excellent, Monica. All right, let me check somebody else. How are you, Angela Rosario? Hi, Aha, uh -huh, Angela. How are you? Hi. Aha, uh -huh, how are you? A ver, ayer les enseñé cómo decir las emociones, cómo estábamos. I feel okay. Excellent, really good. It's good that you're in class. Let me check, Janira. How are you, Janira? I am silly. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Yeah, I saw that you were with your baby. Sí, aquí la tenía, pero ya se la llevaron. Okay, yeah. Excellent, Janira. Very good. Welcome. Perfecto. Let me check, Aníbal Galicia. How are you, Aníbal? Hi, good evening. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right. Welcome, Aníbal. You're welcome. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to have somebody else. Um, uh, Carlos Guevara. Hello there. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Watching the Salvador game. Ay, no, no me digas. <laughs> very happy, very happy. Very good. Don't fall asleep. No se vaya a dormir, por favor. All right. Ah, oh. Very good. Aunque sea de reojo, voy a estar viendo aunque sea el resultado del partido. Sí, cabal. Mientras no grita en la clase de gol, estamos perfectos. No, voy a silenciar el micrófono. All right, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Let's see, Alejandro. How are you, Alejandro? Good morning. Good, uh, good night, uh, teacher. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. How are you, Alejandro? ¿Cómo está? How are you? Eh, muy bien, teacher. Por ahí, gracias a Dios. Ya All right. Excellent. All right, Alejandro. A usted, no, no, no le voy a decir que me lo diga en inglés porque ayer no estuvo al principio de la clase. Pero ya les voy a dar unos anuncios relacionados a eso. All oh. right. Thank you, Alejandro. Let's see, Rubén Pérez. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent, really good. All right, everyone. 
Hello, Emilio. How are you? ¿Cómo está, Emilio? Hello. Hello. How are you, Emilio? Uh, why? Thank you. All right. Thanks. Welcome to today's class. Now, listen, everyone. I need to tell you some announcements before starting the class. And I'm going to say this in Spanish. Yo creo que ustedes ya saben que todas las reuniones están grabadas, todas las clases virtuales están grabadas. Así que cuando ustedes se pierdan el principio de una reunión o no puedan estar en una de las clases virtuales, pueden entrar al canal de YouTube. En los correos que ustedes reciben, ahí viene el playlist de YouTube. La lista donde, en el correo viene la lista directa de YouTube. Y ustedes pueden buscar ahí, solo le dan clic a donde está ese link y les van a aparecer los videos. Todas las noches yo subo esos videos y están en la plataforma de inglés corporativo. ¿Ok? Inglés corporativo. Eso es uno. ¿Por qué les digo esto? Porque yo no quiero que se vayan atrasando. Yo entiendo, comprendo perfectamente que ustedes tienen... A veces eh, otras preocupaciones o cosas que hacer y por eso no pueden estar ya sea a tiempo de la clase o no pueden estar en la clase. Pero sí, yo quiero que saquen provecho de esto, en serio, que quiero que aprendan. Y pues nada más aconsejarles que siempre pueden ver en la plataforma de YouTube los videos, pueden repasar, pueden verlo la cantidad de veces que ustedes quieran. Eso no es ningún problema, aunque sea en un momentito de la noche que ustedes tengan tiempo que sé que pasan trabajando, pero no se queden atrás, right? Ayer vimos unos contenidos nuevos de cómo expresar emociones y ahora los estábamos poniendo en práctica. Y yo sé que algunos no estaban, entonces por eso quiero que vean ese video de la clase de ayer y ustedes aprendan cómo expresar las feelings. All right? With that being said, let's move on to the class. I'm going to share with you my PPT. There you have it. We have Wednesday, September 2nd, 2021. We are in Beginners 1, Class 8. If you want to copy the date, that will be amazing, right? This is the date for today's class. From now on, you can do that to learn how to express dates or everyday dates, right? Now, yesterday we were watching this topic, formula or structure. We were using subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Some of you actually, we finished the class with this topic. Some of you were able to tell me the sentences. Some others weren't able yesterday. All right, so I have, I have in my list the ones that participate yesterday. So if you want, you can participate today. If not, don't worry, all right? But let's just check this. This is the formula for J for double H. No, this is the formula for sentences, all right? Using not, all right? Sentences in negative, using simple present and also not. You have the subject, you have the verb to be, plus not, plus complement. You have the guiding examples. Alejandro, please read number one. Marilyn, it's not from El Salvador. Exactly. Thank you, Alejandro. So everyone pay attention to this. You have your subject, you have your verb to be, you have your negative not and the rest complement, right? That's what I will, that's what you are going to do today. Just in case if you didn't participate yesterday, of course. We have number two, Aníbal Galicia. I'm not a good student. Excellent, there you have it. 
Then again, we have the subject, the verb to be, the negative not, and then the rest complement. Carlos Guevara, number three. You are not part of my family. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you. Janina, number four, Casey. Casey is not my brother. Excellent, thank you. And Maria Teresa, number five. Number five is not vlog today. Excellent, thank you. All right, now, right now I'm going to mention, I have this practice time. I have the names of the people who participated yesterday, right? So don't worry. If you don't want to participate again today, it's okay. But I need to check the other ones. For example, yesterday, ahorita voy a mencionar los que participaron ayer en esta última parte de la clase. Uh, Monica participated, also Alejandro, Oscar, Karen, William, and Carlos, Carla Hernandez, y Aníbal Galicia. You participate yesterday. Let's see, Mary. My example, teacher. Uh -huh, tell me. He is not my husband. Excellent. Ready, get it. He is not my husband. You, huh? you are not is angry. You are not angry. Angry, perdón. Mm -hmm. Excuse angry. me. Don't worry, don't worry. Excellent, Maria, very good. You have your check now. What about Jamilet Torres? Jamilet? I don't know if you're... Uh -huh. Hola, hola. Yes, la escuchamos. Lo siento, teacher, es que he andado cambiando como tres veces de micrófono porque no les he escuchado. Y ahorita sí, me, a mí me levanté y mi hermano me dijo, te están hablando, lo siento. <risa> Don't worry, no se preocupe, yo entiendo, I understand. Sí, porque est est estoy buscando unos audífonos que me puedan oír porque todos, 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 en ninguno, creo que este ha sido el único en el que sí me escuchan, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, yes, indeed, claro que sí. Ah, ok. Ah, ok, Jamile, tell me. Ya, your... lo voy, ya lo voy a hacer, ya lo voy a hacer y... Usted me avisa cuando ya lo tenga hecho, por favor, all right? You let okay. me know. Excellent. Now, meanwhile, let's go with Rubén Pérez. Rubén. Okay, Rubén is not in here. <laughs> I will have Francisco Fernández. We are in watch TV. We are not watching TV. All right, excellent, very good. All right, everyone. Now, Angela, Angela Rosario, please. You are not my son. Excellent, very good. Uh huh, William. One question, Miss. Uh -huh. eh, le voy a dar un ejemplo de una oración que lleva los la, la fórmula, ¿verdad? Y quisiese saber si el orden implica bastante o, o no. El, el ejemplo es, I don't understand my brother. Ok. Su oración está perfecta, no tiene ningún problema. Pero no me está okay. utilizando el negativo que yo necesito, que es not. Oh. Ah, ya entendí. Perfecta. I don't sí. understand my brother. It's okay. Pero no me está utilizando el no, que es lo que en este caso estamos viendo. 
Ok, sí, pero, porque si llega el, lleva un negativo, pero no es el not en sí. realidad, ¿verdad? Ajá, ah, exacto. Ok, muchas no sé gracias. Si dijera, Ajá. También ¿Sí? si dijera I do not, ahí lo tiene contraído, así que sí lo puede poner así, I do not. Ok, o así sea, que... eh, es, es, es permitido en la gramática, digamos, la inglesa. No sé si así se, se expresa o se dice. Tell me again the example. I don't. Oh, creo que. I don't understand my brother. Ajá, ¿qué le falta a William? Mira aquí la structure. Tiene el subject, I. Ah. Verbo to be. Verbo to be. Check. Y lo tiene. Ok. Right. Sí me está utilizando el not, pero Ajá. no me está utilizando el verb to be. Ok. Gracias, Miss. Muchas gracias. Uh, God bless you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. All right. There you have it. Ajá. Somebody else. Uh, Janina, tell me your sentence because you didn't tell me your sentence yesterday. I do not like um, shoes. Ay, Anira, ¿y mi verbo tu vida dónde lo puso? Uh, no lo puso, pero me okay. All right. Meanwhile, mientras tanto, meanwhile, let's have Ruben Pérez. I see that you raised your hand, Rubén. Levantó su mano. No. Let me see. All right, excellent. Very good. Uh, Rubén, my girlfriend is not looking, no, is not watching videos on the TV, on, on TV. Excellent, very good. There you have it, thank you. Now, I'm going to have Jamilet. Let's see Jamilet. Did you finish your sentence? I don't know what to see you. No sé si está bien. Vale. El I sería su subject, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. In my verb to be? In my verb to be? Ah, oh, sí, eso no lo agregué. Exactly. You need. Puedo utilizar am, is o are. Cualquiera de esos. Ok, teacher. All right. Let's see. Everyone. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's move on. Let's see what else do we have for today's class. We have formula or structure for yes, no questions with B. This one is different, all right? This one is different. These ones are questions, questions, all right? So if it is a question, I need my question mark. So let's pay attention. Let's pay attention. <laughs> Verb to be plus subject plus complement plus question mark. One more time, verb to be, it could be am, is, are, plus subject, I, you, she, Anita, Pedro, anyone, any subject, plus complement, plus question mark. That's it, that's basic. Let's check some examples. Okay. Let's have these ones. Guiding examples, just no questions with B. Are you from Australia? Yes, I am. Look at the, look at the answers are pretty short, all right? You don't need to explain much. Just yes or no. Am I your friend? No, I'm not. Is she from Mexico? 
Yes. She's. Are, let me check, are Maria and William friends? No. No, they aren't. All right, there you have it. No, they aren't, all right? Remember, with these questions, you are going to start with verb to be, verb to be. Are you, am I, is she, are Maria and William, all right? Those are my examples. With this being said, let's move along, let's move forward, and now, you are going to practice. If you want, you can copy these examples on your notebook. If not, do not worry, all right? Now, I have a question for you. Is it clear? How are we going to form just no questions with B? Is it clear or not? Yes, it's clear for me. Right, excellent. Thank you. Estamos claros con el tema del yes, no questions with me? Are we clear? Clear, teacher. Right, thanks. Very good. Now, with this, let's move on. Practice time. Aníbal, please tell me the instructions. Instructions, work one, work individually. Two, create one question using yes, no question with we. Three, share your sentence with, with the class. All right, excellent. Everyone, let's work. You have the structure. Verb to be plus, subject plus, complement plus, question mark. This is the question mark, right? With that being said, let's create our own question. Take your time, don't worry. Take your time. Finish, teacher. Excellent, really good. Teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. And questions, uh, example, podría ser, it's do my wife, uh, it's, uh, it's Adelina, do my wife. It's Adelina. Do my wife. Antes de wife, ¿qué dice? Disculpe. Es de... Eh, no, 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 perdón, 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 me he confundido. Sería solo it's Adelina, my wife. Ajá, exactly. Yes, yes, Alea. Finish. Finish, Miss. Excellent, really good. Yes, Alejandro, your, your, your question is correct. Thank you. I'm going to have William 
Okay, William, tell me your question. Are you a bowler? Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Maria, tell me your question, please. Uh, are Eduardo y Edgardo my family? Excellent. Ready? Yes. Um, uh -huh. um, yes, they are. Excellent. Very good. Y la respondió un solo. Excellent. Uh -huh. Is, um, is uh, Febe angry? No, it's no. <laughs> no what? <laughs> uh, repeat. Uh -huh. Repeat. Is Febe angry? No, it's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. Excellent, Mary. Very good, very good. Doble punto para Mary porque me utilizó en su ejemplo. <laughs> All right, Mary, excellent. Uh, Monica, let's see, Monica. Is he your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. he is. Very good, Monica, excellent. Let's see. Francisco Fernandez, let's see your stand, your question. Uy. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Don't worry, no se preocupe, don't worry. Okay, I think you, you cannot talk right now. Let's go with Ruben Perez. Let's see, Ruben, what you got. No, no, okay. Carla de. Ah, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, ahorita. <laughs> Is Fito Celaya social player? All right, yes. excellent. Yes. Excellent. Don't forget a soccer player. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Claro, como están viendo el partido. <laughs> All right, excellent. Let me check. Now that I remember, somebody else was watching the soccer game. Let's see, Carlos Guevara. Tell me your sentence. Are you from Barcelona? Yes, I am. All right, excellent. Let me check somebody else. Janira, let's see how Janira. We are intelligent. Yes, I am. Okay, let's check that sentence. Janira. Ahí usted me está dando una sentence, una oración. Uh -huh. Pero si la queremos hacer pregunta sería. Are we intelligent? Mm -hmm. okay. Mira la respuesta. Yes. Yes, where or oh, yes, we are. Right. All right. Excellent. Very good, Jenny. Very good. Let's go with Aníbal. Let's see Aníbal. Are Sheila a nurse? Yes, she is, or yes, she isn't. All right. Listen again your sent your question, Aníbal. Are Sheila or is yes. Sheila? Is I'm sorry, is. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Good that you noticed. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Jamilet Torres.
Yami. Mrs. Torres, are you there? All right. Let me see. Carla de Hernandez, please. Are you from Russia? No, I am not. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. And the last one, Angela Rosario. Let's see, Angela. Are you feeling sick? No, I am not. Excellent. Very good, Angela. Excellent. All right, everyone. Very good job. Excellent. I'm proud of you because now you are creating content. All right. When you're learning English, you need to reinforce or you need to form the four skills that we have. We have listening skill writing a skill, a speaking a skill, and reading a skill, right? So that's what I'm trying to do in here with you guys, right? I'm trying to help you to reinforce all those skills. Now, let's move on. We have numbers and names. Teacher, uh -huh. perdón, me había levantado, pero no sé, ya la hice, pero no sé si está bien. Okay. Jamilet, right? Uh huh. Tell me, Jamilet. Sí. Uh, he's your my, um, he's your boyfriend. Uh, no, he is not my boyfriend. No sé si right. está bien. Let's see. Sí. La hizo así, a ver. Is he your boyfriend? Así la hizo Jamilet. Yamilet. Hola. Hola, ahí está. ¿Así es la, la, la question? No, la hice. He's your boyfriend. Vaya, pero ahí no me está dando una question. Si fuera así, is he your boyfriend? Ahí sí me está preguntando. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ajá, okay. yo lo había hecho con el otro. Entonces tengo que agregar el, el is she. Is he? Yeah, and then is he? Okay, teacher. Gracias. Excellent. You're welcome, my friend. All right, everyone. Now, let's move on. Conversation. He's cute. We have Emma, G, and Jill. Okay, listen to my pronunciation, then you will practice. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. All right. Now I'm gonna make this bigger for you to see it on the screen. And let's practice, all right? Let's practice our speaking. I'm going to have Mary, Maria. You are going to be Emma. Ah, by the way, um, let me check. Before practicing this, Emilio. Emilio, Emilio, are you there? Está ahí, Emilio? There you are. Okay. Tiene su question? Tiene su pregunta? Um, la voy a la voy a este a, a terminar. Sí. Okay, vaya mi. No sé, no no se complique mucho. Solo necesita el verb to be que ya saben ustedes, todos saben, ya tenemos muchas clases estudiando el verb to be. Solo tenemos tres, am, is, are. ¿Okay? Solo necesita el verb to be, los subjects, que también ya los conocen, que sería I, you, she, he, we, they, 
Y luego necesita su complement, que va a ser lo que usted le quiere agregar a la oración. ¿Ok? Correcto, está bien. All right, Amy. Gracias. You're welcome. All right, students. Let's see. Uh, Mary, you are Emma. And Carlos Guevara, you are Jill. Action. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's God. What is his name? James. We call oh. him Jim. Oh, how old is he? She's 21 years old. What? He like? I bet he's nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tommy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Let's see, Mary. Repeat after me. Cute. Repeat, please. Cute. He's cute. cute. He's cute. Mm -hmm. Excellent. He's cute. He's right? cute. Excellent. Thank you, Mary and Carlos. Now let's move on with Janira. You are Emma, Janira. William, you are Jill. Who, who, who is who's that? Who's that? Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's good. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is she? Is she? He's He's twenty-one years old. Mm, what he like? I did his nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Excellent. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. Now, let's check everyone. Everyone pay attention to this part. He's 21 years old. What's he like? Esta es una contracción. En vez de decir what is he like, decimos what's he like. Pero necesito que pronuncien esa S porque esa S está allí. Por eso tenemos que tomarla en cuenta. What's he like? I bet he's nice. I bet he's nice. All right. Thank you very much. Let's go with Monica. You are Emma. Aníbal Galicia, you are Jill. Action. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's, he's cute. What's his name? James, we call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's... 21 years old. That he like. I bet he's night. Yes, he is. And uh, he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister, Tommy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Excellent. Bravo, guys. Thank you very much. Let's go with Angela Rosario. You are Emma. Alejandro, you are Jill. Action. Who's that? He's my brother. Whoa, he's good. What? What is name? What his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh. How old is he? How old is he? He's 21 years old. What is he like? I... I bet. I bet he's nice. Yes, he is and he's 
very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy, she's only 12, she the baby of the family. Excellent, thank you very much, both of you. Let's see Alejandro, repeat after me. She's only 12. She's only 12. Right, thank you. Angela Rosario, repeat after me. He's cute. He's cute. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me, Angela. What's his name? What's his name? Excellent, really good. Now, Carla de Hernandez. You are Emma. Francisco Fernandez, you are Gio. What's that? He is my brother. Whoa, he's cute. What's his name? James, we call him Jean. Oh, how old is he? Is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he is very smart too. And what's that? My sister, my sister, Tammy, she is only 12. She is the baby of the family. Excellent. Bravo. Very good job. Let's go with the last pair I'm going to have. Gladys Escobar. You are Emma. And Ruben Perez, you are Jill. Action, please. What's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's good. What is his name? James. We got him, Jim. Oh, how are you, see? He's 21, 21 years old. What well, he likes, I wish he's nice. Action, please. Yes, he is. Um, he's very smart, too. And what's that? Uh, my sister. That mean she's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Excellent, thank you. Okay, Gladys, repeat after me. He's cute. He's cute. What's his name? What's his name? Okay. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Excellent, really good job. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your participation in this conversation. Now let's check. The purpose of this conversation is for you to see the use of numbers, right? Numbers and ages. When we are talking about ages, we say things like, I'm 23 years old, I'm 45 years old. Let's check the numbers, okay? So let me see. Yeah, this one. Now, before going to the stress, uh, uh, before going to the syllable stress, because this is another topic, I'm gonna make this bigger for you. And what I need you to practice right now, what I'm more interested about is for you to practice in numbers, all right? We need to learn how to express numbers. So I'm going to start. And I'm going to have one person with me. Let's see, Janina, practice with me, okay? Repeat after me. 11. 11. 12. 12. 
13. 13. Excelente, very good. Un, una pausa, Yanira. Eh, todos quiero que vayan pronunciando, aunque no tengan el micrófono abierto, quiero que estén pronunciando con el audio que están teniendo ahorita en directo, right? Que somos Yanira y yo. <laughs> All right, let's okay, continue. Me. Excellent, very good. Perfect. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 16. 17. 17. 18. 18. 19. 19. 20. 20. 21. 21. 22. 22. 23. 23. 24. 24. 25. 25. 26. 26, 80 80 90 90 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 all right, everyone. Now, if you notice in here where it says 40, 50, 60, they are not adding the one, two, three, four, five. Because um, for logical, you should know that you're going to follow the same structure, right? For example, 41, 42, 43, and then you so on, all right? So that's why. In here, they show you, they show you the examples of how to use 21, 22, 23, all right? But in this case, you, you will know that you just need to add the second number if you're going to use. Now, with that being said, let's have William. Okay, William, tell me the numbers. You go alone. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Excellent. Thank you so much. Repeat after me, William. 12. 12. 12. 12. 30. 12. 30. 30. Terry. Excellent. Very good, William. Terry. Thank you, so much. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with Mary and okay, Mary, you're going to tell me the numbers from 11 to 20. All right? To 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, thank you. Carlos Guevara, continue with 21 until 30. 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 
Excellent, thank you. Aníbal Galicia, from 40 to 103. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 101, 102, and 103. Excellent, thank you. Monica, from 11 to 20. 11 to 20. Monica, are you there? Uh, excuse me. 11, 20, 12, 12, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Excellent, Monica. I saw you told me all the numbers. Excellent. Repeat after me, Monica. 30. 30. 30. 30. 40. 40. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, Monica. Let's go with Mary. Aha, uh -huh, Mary. I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh. 101 or 101? One hundred and the one. And the one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Lo mismo que one hundred aquí también. En otros libros o a otros speakers, a otras personas que hablan, les pueden escuchar a hundred. Ajá. So a veces se puede decir one hundred y otras veces a hundred. Right? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's move on. Let's go with Jamilet Torres. Tell me the numbers from 11 220. Yamilet, Yamilet, are you there? <clears throat> if not, I'm going to have Emilio. Okay, Emilio, I'm going to tell the, ah, Yamilet, you open your microphone. Hola, hola, Yamilet, ¿me escucha? No, no, Yamilet, we cannot hear you. Okay, uh, meanwhile, we are going to have Emilio. All right, Emilio, repeat after me, 11. Okay, 11. 12 18 19 19 20 20 all right thank you emilio now listen everyone in here you can say you have two options you can say 20 or 20 all right it's going to depend on how you want to pronounce it right if you want to say 20, it's okay. If you want to say 20, it's okay either, all right? Now let's go with, uh, with Alejandro from 21 to 30. Alejandro, please. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, Tuesday. All right, Re repeat after me, Alejandro, 30. 30. Mm -hmm. 30. 30. All right. Thank you, Alejandro. 
Now, let's have somebody else. Everyone, this is your moment to practice. If you have any question about the pronunciation of a number, let me know, all right? Because I don't want you to have any gaps. Let's see, Mary. Uh-huh. You repeat pronunciation um, 30. 30. 30. 30. Mm -hmm. 30. Let's see, Mary. 30. 30. 30. 30. Uh -huh, exactly. There you have it. Very good. 30. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. All right, everyone. Let's move on. We cannot stay forever in here. We have double H words. Let me move these from here. All right, double H words. We have, I have a question, my dear students. ¿Ya habíamos visto las double H words con ustedes? Yes, miss. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent, very good, I will see. So now that you already know that, porque ya saben las double H words, Let's move forward. Double H questions with B, all right? When asking a double H question, you're going to need a double H word, all right? For example, what's your name? My name is Jill. Who's that? He's my brother. Who are they? They are my classmates. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21 or he's 21. Where are you from? They are from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice, All right? Just give me one second. Me fui un segundo porque tengo que poner a cargar la computadora, all right? Disculpa del caso, pero ya estamos de regreso, all right? So let's continue. What's he like? He's very nice. What's real like? It's very beautiful. All right, now let's practice these questions, everyone. Why? Why do we have to practice this? Because I noticed that you are not mentioning the S and I need you to mention the S. The letter S, it's really important. You cannot let behind the S. Now let's get the first one. I'm going to have Carla de Hernandez, please. Tell me the first question and answer. What's? What's your name? My name is Jill. Excellent, thank you. Continue, Ruben Perez. Who's? La, la second. Where are you uh -huh. from? Who's? Ah, who's that? He's my brother. All right. And thank you, Ruben, for your message. Gracias por mantenernos al tanto del partido, Ruben. Thank you. All right. Let's move on, everyone. Let's go with Gladys Escobar. Question number three. Who? Gladys Escobar, who? Who are they? Repeat, yeah. who? Who? Who are, are they? they? <laughs> who are they? They are? They? They are? They are? My classmates. My classmates. Excellent, thank you, Gladys. Francisco Fernandez, where? Continue, please. Where? Where are you from? Uh -huh. 
Me is. Am. I am from Canada. 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 Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Janira. How? How are, how are is is? How are it is? Okay, repeat after me. When, he is 21. Excellent. Very good. How old? How old is he? Is he? Mm -hmm. Next. Very good, Janina. William, the next question, where? Where are they from? They're from Rio. Excellent, very good. Monica, how? How are today? Um, I am who's fine. I who's fine. Okay, repeat after me. How are you today? How are you today? I'm just fine. I'm, I'm just fine. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Carlos Guevara, what? What he likes? He's very nice. Excellent. Thank you. Alejandro, what? What Rio like? It's very beautiful. Excellent, thank you. All right, thank you so much to the ones who participate in this part. Now, listen everyone, let's move on. I want you to see the structure, okay? This is what I'm looking forward for you, okay? This is the guiding structure. We have double H word plus verb to be, plus pronoun or subject pronoun, plus complement, plus question mark, all right? If you don't have this structure, you can copy this structure right now. Tell me. In class again, the new I am. I am in class. All right, excellent. Esa es un statement, esa es uh, una oración, sentence. Y ahora en pregunta, ¿cómo la? Uh -huh. uh, en class, um, en pregunta. Vaya, su oración es: I am in class. What? Ajá. No, what? Your what? No, aquí no me va a utilizar el what todavía. Uh, Para hacer la oración, va a poner el am al principio, at the beginning. Am I um, in class? Am uh, I class? In class? Así es la respuesta. No, esa es I la pregunta. Am in class? Uh, I am. am I in class? Es que quiero que aprendan los dos, Emilio, Am porque I... son diferentes. Questions y los otros son statements. Uh, I am my class. I am in class. No puede decir I am my class porque eso sería yo soy en mi clase. No, I am in class. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Uh, I am in class. Uh -huh. Yo estoy en clase. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Uh, y... I am my class. Am I? Am I? Um, uh, 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 am Para I? Para pregunta. Am I? Uh, es, ¿Tú estás en clase? Ajá. ¿O sí, estás tú en clase? ¿Estás tú en clase? Sí. Exacto. Ajá. Entonces sería este. Ajá. All right. Sí. Now, uh, uh, y la otra, la otra es, they, they are Juan in Carmen in phrase. Phrase. What is in phrase? 
friends, hermanos. Ah, ah, no, brothers. perdón, es que. Or siblings. Ah, Porque también yeah. siblings. Friends. Sí. Ah, sería este. Ok, Emily, vaya. Por el tiempo friends no son amigos. mucho. Oh. Ah, friends. Sí, ok, ok. Sí. okay. All right, sí, voy a... amigos. Right. Voy a dar un anuncio antes de que todos se vayan, porque hoy sí ya todos están en la clase y no quiero que se desconecten. Right? Pay attention. Everyone. Voy a hacerles lo mismo que dije al principio. Las clases quedan grabadas. A ustedes les enviaron un correo con el, la lista de YouTube. Ustedes pueden visualizar los videos. ¿Por qué? Porque si no, durante la siguiente clase, ustedes van a andar perdidos. Y yo no quiero que les pase eso, ¿verdad? Yo sé que por cuestiones de la vida, porque andan cansados, tal vez no se pueden conectar o porque hay mucho tráfico, no alcanzan a llegar. Pero sí pueden visualizar la clase anterior. Aquí no podemos decir, mis no estuve la clase anterior, así que no sé. No, porque ustedes tienen la lista y todos los videos. Yo me acuesto a las 12 de la noche subiendo esos videos. Así que lo más que espero de ustedes es que los puedan visualizar. ¿Ok? Que ustedes los chequen. Sáquenle provecho, sáquenle el jugo a esto. Tienen una gran oportunidad y ustedes lo pueden hacer, right? Así que eso es todo por hoy. That's it for today's class. And see you on Monday, all right? Bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye.